what Kurt can have. <laughs> of the rest of the band because we didn't bring them along this time but we've come over mainly to uh, to play a couple of really um, sort of funny acoustic shows and uh, and to uh, do a lot of talking on the phone and interviews and things like that because we've got a record that comes out next month which is, uh, Kirk has one copy that we were given by the uh, and we're going to sell it tonight it's going to be cool <laughs> and you fuckers are going to buy it We've got this record coming out, it's called If You Didn't Laugh You'd Cry, and it comes out, I believe, at the end of October, at which time we will immediately come back and uh, play with the whole band and all that, so we're really excited. <laughs> 
the other night we were in Berlin and uh, like London there's not a lot of trash cans in Berlin and uh, Kirk decided that he was a little bit hungry and he got himself a falafel sandwich and uh, two bites into it he wasn't into it anymore and you could see that he was kind of turning green and that something was happening to him and he said uh, this is, this is horrible, it's the worst falafel I've ever had, I've got to get rid of this. But Kirk, um, unlike most New Yorkers and East Coasters where we're from, is a very polite man, very civil, he's a, a, a practicer of d deportment. <laughs> and uh, he, he didn't want to get rid of the falafel sandwich, he didn't want to just throw it on the ground. So we ended up walking around Berlin for like an hour. Me and my brother and this guy carrying a falafel sandwich with two bites out of it. And it started to smell. I finally went to like a coffee shop and we sat down and uh, Kirk laid the falafel sandwich on the table and kind of treated it like it was a friend. <laughs> After a while it was like he was getting attached to it. And uh, of course the, the German gentleman came out to serve us coffee and all and just sort of gave us a dirty look, you know, like, what are you doing with that fucking thing? And uh, ultimately, we had to convince Kirk that it was okay, you know, that the falafel sandwich, uh, it wasn't really going to make a difference if he just threw it under a passing bus. <laughs> and so he did, and, uh, but, but that's why I love that guy, man, because, um, you know, you'll never see a, uh, a dime bar rapper blowing down the street, courtesy of Kirk Henderson, I'll tell you that. <laughs> 